Hi, welcome to this video. In this particular video, we're going to take a look at BL Heli S ESCs and how we can update them to BlueJ ESC firmware. In 2024, BL Heli 32 or 32-bit ESCs are, are extremely popular, but they're quite a bit more expensive than the older 8-bit BL Heli ESCs. However, the BL Heli 32s have some extra features that the original BL Heli S ESCs do not. And so by upgrading to the BlueJ firmware for the older style BL Heli S ESCs, we will get quite a few of those updated features that are available on the BL Heli 32 ESC. Now to do this, it's a really simple process. All you're going to need, of course, is your quadcopter that has the BL Heli S ESC that you would like to update. You will need a LiPo battery because we need to have power to the ESC when we do this. And of course, you will need the appropriate USB cable for your particular flight controller. Because what we're going to end up doing is connecting to the flight controller and going through that to program the ESC. And it's a very simple process. First, go to a website that is called ESC Configurator. Uh, ESCConfigurator.com is a very useful website that allows you to flash BL Heli S style ESCs of different firmwares. The original BL Heli S and the BlueJ um, alternate firmware. So to begin, what you'll need to do is just simply connect your USB to your quad and you should hear a beep along those kind of lines which tells you that your quad has connected or your, your flight controller has connected to the computer and then we will go up to the corner here where it says connect and that's exactly what we will do. Now you may get a pop-up window that asks you to select which serial port. Simply choose the one that says STM. Now we can see here that we have connected into the programming interface where we're going to be able to update our ESCs. And so in order to do this, we need to read the settings from the ESC. However, if we try it right now, you'll see that nothing happens. And that's simply because we did not connect a LiPo battery first. You can see here it's missing an ESC. It took a long time to figure it out. It couldn't find anything, so it's just timed out. When you do any work with the flight controller or the ESCs on your desk, make sure that you do not have any props on your quad. Messing around with the ESCs is a really good opportunity for the propellers to spin up randomly, and you don't want that. So take your propellers off before you proceed. Once you've done that for sure, plug in your LiPo. You should hear everything chime up. Okay. And then we're going to now read settings. And you can see here that it has pulled up all four of my ESCs because I'm using a four in one ESC here. And you can see that this is labeled as having BL Heli S 16.7. And so what we want to do is we want to flash all of the ESCs on this four in one ESC with the updated BlueJ firmware. And so to do that, we will come down to the bottom where it says flash all ESCs. Simply click on there, and then you can see that we are presented with a box that lets us choose the firmware and version that we want. So what we will do is we will choose BlueJ firmware. The ESC type is already filled in for us. Don't change that. If you change it, you can really mess things up your your ESC won't work so leave it as it is and then we select a version and what we want to select here is the latest version which is our 0.19.2 of the Blue Jay so we select that and then we will select a PWM frequency that's one of the features that we can get with this is we can have variable PWM frequency now unless you know anything different it's best to choose 24 or perhaps 48. There are reasons for choosing higher, but those are very specific and typically on much, much smaller quads. I'm building a large quad with this one with seven inch propellers. 
and so I'm going to have a slightly slower PWM frequency I'm going for the 24. Once we've done that, we will come down here and we will simply say flash and that will do all of them. So let's do that now. You see it takes us back to the original page and you can see that it will proceed through each one in turn. This will just take a moment to complete all four ESCs. If at any point any one of the ESCs shows a failure or an error, note that down. Um, you may need to just go back and try to reflash that particular ESC again individually. And now the device has been reset. We can see that all of our ESCs now show the BlueJ.19 version. And we are basically done. We don't need to do anything with writing settings because we didn't change any settings. We just completely reflashed the firmware. That is the basic process of updating your BL Heli S ESC to the BlueJ firmware. It's a very simple process. It doesn't take uh, any time at all. And what it will let you do is activate some features in Betaflight when you're setting up your quad so that you're able to tune it better and get better performance out of your quadcopter through Betaflight. We can come in here and we can select from a list of provided options here a, uh, let's just find something here, Batman theme. Okay, and so if you like that, what you're going to do is synchronize them, have to accept it, and then write it. So what we've done is we now have made this Batman theme the startup tone for when we plug in our quad and our ESCs. So from now on, instead of doing the de -de 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 -de, you can get uh, your own tune for it. And so when this one gets fired up, it will now play the Batman theme, which is kind of neat. Now, of course, you go ahead and choose whichever one you want. I hope so, you found this uh, helpful and that it's been able to guide you through the process of updating your ESCs. If you did find it helpful, perhaps you'd consider subscribing to the channel and uh, looking forward to seeing you in a future video. Until then, safe flying and take care.